Christensen. Uh, this is Becky Christensen coming to you live just after finishing up the stop number five here in Hermiston, Oregon for the Coastal Farm and Ranch Challenge of Champions Tour. And we are here with our champion for tonight. We thought we had a three-way tie, but it was clarified and the, the half button wasn't working. So we have a undisputed champion, Jake Charlton. He's from Redmond, Oregon, and he rode tonight. Uh, we've come to the conclusion it was bull smack. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, a, a bull of longs. Well, congratulations, first and foremost. You're going to receive a beautiful, and I, I'm pushing and promoting tonight here at the Les Schwab Contestant Corner, uh, Trace Reyes' beautiful buckle, because my Aunt Vicky is my uh, owner of Trace Reyes, and she's my co-host on my show. So here's your winner, Aunt Vicky. He gets to wear your beautiful buckle. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your ride tonight. Oh, it's just I was lucky to get a really good bull in the pen, and um, we're just able to get by him and do a good ride. I mean, every bull here, I mean, is here for a reason, and and uh, it's they set up a really good pen they all year long, and uh, I was just lucky to be be on top and have the highest score tonight. Now, are you uh, working for all those points towards the end of the year to win that championship? Yes, ma'am. I'm. I I think I should. That should put me up in the top five now or so, and. Um, there's a lot of events left and a lot of good bull riders and we're all we've all got the same goals to uh try to win that the saddle at the end of the year well i'm going to ask you how did you come about uh the challenge of champions tour how'd you hear about it and, and have you is this your first year in the tour or have you been doing it for a couple of years uh, i've been doing it this is probably my third year uh consistent and i heard about it when it was real fresh when jason just started it and just had a, a couple three events going and and uh He's he's making a big deal of it now and really growing fast and and it's the sky's the limit for him and and same f same for the riders uh, we just come and because it's a good deal a lot of money and good bulls to get on every time so it's the words getting out there and it's uh something for everybody to look forward to. Well, are you, uh, so you'll be at the next, the next stop that we make uh, here, uh, gosh, it's next week, and we are going to Chelan, so you'll be at Chelan. Uh, more than likely, I'm, I'll be up there. Uh, if not, then I'll definitely be in uh, the following one in, I think, uh, Albany. Definitely be in Albany, and it's a question mark on next weekend, but um, hopefully I can pull it together and make it up there. Now, tell me, with the event series and the way it goes, if you don't make an event, or you don't score as far as the scoring system goes and the point system if you miss an event but you come back and you do well at the next event are, are you okay on points wise to stay in that top five or is it pretty competitive uh, it's always competitive every time there's uh i mean the top five guys right now have um all got two bulls road and um i mean if you miss out on one and the guy below you rides his bull and the kid bump him ahead of you and so I mean yeah if you you do miss an event then it's uh it's always possible that you're gonna knock down in the standing so um it's you just try to go to as many as you can and and ride as many as you can well before we wrap up here I'm gonna ask you one more question um as you've been riding bulls I, I don't know how old you you were when you started riding bulls but tell me a little bit about your mentor someone that you look up to that has been riding bulls before you that you uh you know gain your experience and, and your knowledge from uh there's so many guys uh i can't think of one off the top of my head i mean i guess my dad was there in the beginning and um he wasn't a bull rider but a bronc rider but he uh a cowboy's a cowboy and you know they know all the events and he was the one that stood by me and pushed me to keep keep fighting through the pain and and suffering and uh just helped me in the ups and downs and uh there's lots of lots of bull riders I look up to as well but uh he's the one that in the beginning so well th I appreciate that and there you go dad he's giving props to you so congratulations on your win tonight and we look forward to seeing you down the road whether it be Shalan or Albany, I'm sure you'll be back in the winter circle. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks.